I'm George Mackay and I play Jacob in Wolf. I read the script and absolutely loved it and loved the, the kind of the visual mood board as well that was attached and I must have, I thought Natalie's film Nocturnal was just amazing. So all of those combined in the themes of the script and the story that she was telling I just I really wanted to be involved. The story of Wolf is it's, it's the story of, of this young man called Jacob who feels that he is a wolf and, and he is going to, uh, he's in a treatment centre called True You for people with species dysphoria to try and quote unquote fix himself, I guess. And that, that is the sort of nature of the story in, in a way and the journey within that and all the relationships that come about of all the different characters. There is um, Jacob. Um, who, who I play and I think most characters in the film almost have an animal that goes with it um, and Jacob is a wolf and he has been struggling with and dealing with this sense that he is this other thing that he is this animal but inside of a, a young person's body a young man's body and and so he he is constantly kind of towing this line of being one thing and having to exist in a world that is completely other to that thing. Um, as well as the fact that he exists in that world pretty much all, all of his life, the kind of compromising questions and realities of the way it makes him feel as to whether he really is the thing that he feels. And so it is, he's a beautifully complex being. Many people within the story have different opinions uh, about him, uh, certain assumptions, um, and, and, as, and as well he kind of ebbs and flows between the two. There's a kind of truthful duality to him, and a duality I don't mean in a negative sense, but I mean that he is, this, he is these two things at once, um, which I think is what's so fascinating about him and such a joy to play. You've got Wildcat. Um, or Cecile, and um, who's played by Lily Rose Depp, and and Wildcat is, um, she's a young woman who's been living at True You for for quite a while. There's an element of mystery to her, and why she's there and how she's there, and it's tricky to speak of someone else's character, but I f I feel she's a young woman who is, who is sort of trapped by herself in a way, and trapped by some of the traumas that she's been through, and and kind of is a wee bit sort of caught in this glass ceiling of herself and things that have, but those feelings have come from things which are out of her control. So she's in this kind of beautiful, painful in-between. And I think her and Jacob meet at a very specific time when they're both united in that in-between, which makes them feel very together. But ultimately when they keep moving, it's difficult to say whether they can continue being together as they move. Dr. Man is played by Paddy, I'm sorry, by Paddy Considine, um, who's brilliant. And, um, and they're, they're, yeah, it's, it's a kind of, it's a beautifully nuanced, but dramatic relationship between him and Jacob. You've got Eileen Walsh, who plays Dr. Angeli, who is, uh, who is one of the therapists at True You. And she's, again, this is a Jacob-centric kind of reading of it, but is a sort of well-meaning but uh, misguided um, therapist or, you know, or, or woman trying to do the right thing but not understanding the people that she's interacting with. And she also has a very particular relationship with Wildcat, which again is, is beautifully complex where two people sort of keep each other and keep each other where they're at which is not always beneficial for the pair of them. This large lockdown that fell in between the initial rehearsal process and, and the rehearsal process that came to be before shooting. And in a way, as it, it kind of the time, I think the, the, the big time gap that opened up between the beginning and end of rehearsals actually really informed a sort of deeper understanding of the character. Natalie, um, was working with Terry Notary, who's been our amazing movement movement coach, and Terry's an incredible expert in 
movement and kind of spirituality as much as he, he does so many things. And we had a week's rehearsal um, in Dublin before we were going to have a short break and then come to do three weeks with all of the ensemble, all of us together before we then began shooting. And we that f- one week ended up being kind of isolated. But that first week of, basically it was there to discover what the wolf is and how to do this wolf. Because there's a number of scenes with Jacob being a wolf and being his sort of true self. And it's very tricky. Like, I, you don't want, well, we hope that it's not just a bad impersonation of a wolf, you know. And it was working with, with Terry that week and working the three of us discovering what wild actually means and kind of going past the surface level of being on all fours or moving like a wolf. And that became so, so insightful to the character and made the truth of him being a wolf really tangible.